<laughs> that is a funny idea. Alright, welcome to the Lone Wolfer Garage Moto Vlog. As always, I am your host, the Lone Wolfer. And Michelle and I are out uh, on this uh, crisp fall New England day, enjoying a beautiful ride under these gray New England skies. Uh, and it is fair season here in New England. Uh, and fair season is uh, something a little bit uh, special to all of us New Englanders. Um, it's probably fair season all over the country, but uh, for us, we take uh, some, some personal pride in our fairs. And right now we are actually about to ride by uh, the Guilford Fairgrounds. Uh, we're not too far away from it, it's just right over here. Uh, we're not going there today, but I do want to talk about the uh, fairs in this area, uh, specifically the Durham Fair, which is considered the Connecticut State Fair. I like to participate in the Durham Fair competitions uh, on the level um, of the amateur artist and craftsman. So this year I am actually entering uh, three items, uh, two paintings and one piece of leather work. Uh, I created a uh, small leather clutch or purse uh, to you laymen uh, that has an intricate uh, transferred image onto the leather. It is uh, one of my designs that I call Yggdrasil and ravens. Uh, Yggdrasil is the tree of life in Norse mythology. I will show uh, that little piece right now. It's pretty cool. Uh, I learned a new technique of transferring toner images from paper onto leather. Uh, this is one of my own uh, personal designs, my creations. Uh, I also have this design available on a t-shirt and I will have a link to that t-shirt on Amazon down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I uh, have started this new, uh, new path of transferring my own personal designs uh, as I am a graphic designer. That is my, my day job, a jockey a computer station and uh yeah i've got some uh, some neat neat uh neat designs that are all available as t-shirts and i'm going to be uh, transferring a lot of those onto leather uh, in different forms other uh, from wallets to purses to keychains uh, and a few other uh, uh ideas that i have that i haven't quite uh, worked out just yet entirely uh but yeah, i also have transferred an acrylic version of the Yggdrasil and Ravens to uh, a canvas, which I also entered, as long uh, along with uh, one of my bubble paintings. Uh, yeah, that's what I that's what that's right. I said a bubble painting. Uh, I came up with a technique a few years ago of blowing bubbles with pigments in them onto canvases and wood and uh, vinyl and a few other uh, substrates, and I get some pretty cool. Uh, cool results uh, but yeah uh, I am a huge fan of the fair uh, season and I am specifically a huge fan of the Durham Fair uh, we participated a great deal in the fairs Guilford Durham uh, specifically Durham Fair as I was growing up my mother was a huge proponent of uh, canning and entering the competitions for canning uh, as well as baked goods uh, cheesecakes cakes pies uh, uh, you name it, she entered it. Uh, there were years where we, you know, she had 50 or 60 different items in the fair. It was pretty intense sometimes. Yeah, it's all good fun, fun competition. Oh, puppy dogs, so many of them. Just some friendly competition at the fair. Uh, I, I, I really enjoy it. Uh, it's nice to walk in and, you know, see what I might have won. You know, I, I don't always win things in the fair. There are some really talented people who come and, uh, participate in the arts and crafts uh, competition at the uh, Durham Fair and, and it's it's always great to see what other people are putting in there um, but I will admit that it is always really nice to just win something win a nice blue ribbon and a couple of dollars 
because uh, they actually do uh, they pay for first second and third prize and it's always nice to get a, a little something for your work and your participation uh, along with going and eating some just really interesting foods uh, there's always meats on sticks I love meats on sticks uh, that and the roast beef sandwiches and a few of the other things that you can get there like last year we got this uh, giant fried dough which was totally a mistake it was hilarious boy oh my god I felt so sick afterwards I'll show a picture of that sucker here um, yeah it was it, it was tasty for the first few bites but oh my god at the end there I just I felt terrible and walking around a fair terrible I uh, couldn't even go on any rides because I was just afraid I was gonna just hurl um, but yeah uh, if any of you guys uh, participate in your fairs or even just go visit them or make the rounds at the Durham at the different fairs around you or if you're in this area and you go to the Durham Fair I'd love to hear one of your stories about uh, checking out the fair and going and walking around and what you like the best about them hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did give it a thumbs up uh, if you uh, like following around with uh, my crazy antics and my ridiculous adventures and my outrageous stories I'd love it if you uh, subscribe and follow along and I hope you guys are out there uh, getting some good rides in before the the crap weather sets in uh, you know just enjoying the hell out of this fall and hell follow along with my hashtag on uh, Instagram of fuck it's fall alright guys rock on <laughs>